Here's the hood scoop all ready to bond it on. I cleaned off an area on the back of the hood here down to bare steel. Here's the little flange that I made. Made this last night. Um, went back and made some tacks with the MIG welder. Um, especially some of these areas in the front. I just kind of made those a little more solid. Um, put some epoxy primer and just really soaked it in to all the seams and joints everywhere for rust proof. And then I just took a black spray bomb into the inside. And we're going to get the uh, get the bonding material ready. Get it right on there. Thought about zapping some studs on and, and bolting this thing down to help hold it on to the bonding material, but stuff's pretty good. I didn't do that last time and it held up really well. So time to bond it on. Also that nice subframe for the uh, 68 Camaro. Just sealed it in black and base coat clear coated it. It's going to look really nice under the car. It's a really nice unit. This has been our long term project. It's on the rotisserie still, waiting for that uh, new subframe to get put on. Um, the boss made some wire frames around and just welded sheet metal, molded it in. Made a nice flare in the back that the Camaros, the uh, spoilers that came on them were kind of a little clunky looking, so we went that way. Um, Got a really nice uh, rear end set up on this and all new brakes, real nice stuff. Um, did a lot of undercoating, like a medium gray, uh, clear coated under there. New floors, new roof panel, new quarter panels. Um, put some flat sheet metal over a big part of the firewall. You can kind of see the undercoating way we did it under here going to be pretty cool. It's got a long way to go though. Here's my 3M panel bonding. Uh, I've got a new mixing stick on the end. Just run it through this. It's like a giant caulking gun. Basically it's a two-part epoxy. I think this one is done. This pre-mixes in this mixing tip as it comes out. And then you run a couple of strips down until you get a good... That way you know it's mixed. And now, any metal that I can't get to, I'm going to want to make sure it's covered with this stuff. This is a great um, rust proofing material once it's applied. And this takes This takes overnight to really bond. It sets up nice though. Alright, so I smoothed it out where the hood scoop's going to sit. I wanted to make sure there's no bare steel in there. And now I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to smooth it out on here. And I'm going to keep doing that till any bare metal is coated that, that I'll never be able to get to again. And then I'll place it on. And that's how it's going to sit tonight. And the, tomorrow I can grind the sides down and lay some, uh, first coat will be some fiberglass tiger hair. We call it rot repair. And then I'll follow up by just doing uh, just a, a nice plastic coating over every, all of it. And I'll get it in primer and then I can get this car done. And the rest of the parts are waiting to get painted, the bumper cover and the... Oh, what else am I doing? That's the main. That's the main thing I'm painting. Some hinges, and that's it.